Hi. Sometimes when you're in small business, you are a bit tight on the cash and you might want to do a deal with another supplier where you provide some work, they provide some work, and rather than paying each other, you do a contra. So you do a similar amount of work and cancel it out so you don't have to do payment. So how do we do that in zero? It's actually quite easy if you know the steps. So the first thing is that you need to enter the either the sales or the bills, um, the new sale or the bill. So I'm sure you all know how to do that in zero through your new sales invoice, through up here through invoice. Now I've already created one. If I go here to awaiting payment, I have an invoice here. I've done the work uh, for ABC Consultants. So I've done their year end tax compliance for the group uh, for a price of $4,000. So they owe me $4,400. I haven't paid it yet, but what we're going to do is they've done some work for me. So if I go back to my dashboard, we would then enter the bill. So they send us their invoice and we enter a bill. So if I come down here to my bills, I've got a couple of waiting payment. So I can enter a new bill, go through one of the receipt capture apps, HubDuck, HubDoc or Dext or something like that. So here is there invoice to me. So I make sure I use the same contact card. So don't create a new contact, make sure it's the same card. Uh, so they did a change management workshop for me for the value of $3,000 plus GST. So I owe them $3,300. So what we've decided is that rather than me pay them $3,000 and they pay us $4,000, they're just going to pay me the difference of $1,000. So how do I record that in zero? So I'll just show you how um, what it looks like in here. Let's have a look at the contact. And if I look for, oh, there we are, ABC Consultants, I don't even have to search. So you can see over here, I owe them, they owe me. And if I click into the contact, we'll also see one invoice awaiting payment and one bill awaiting payment. So there's a difference here as well. Okay, so if this is a once off thing where, you know, we're not gonna, unlikely we're gonna do this again, um, we'll just run this through um, a suspense account. And a lot of, um, if you're using a bookkeeper or account, you probably already have a suspense account in your chart of accounts. Um, or if this is something you regularly do, um, we're going to create a special account and I'll show you how to do that. Uh, it is important that we record the sale and the expense, the bill, um, so that we get a true record of the work that we've done. It's great to be able to value your business if showing that I've done 4000 in sales rather than 1000 which is the difference, the money that's coming in. So what we need to do first is create a new chart of account account. Go into chart of accounts. Uh, and I'm going to add a new account. Uh, and this can be a current asset, current liability, doesn't really matter, but we usually do put it on the um, balance sheet. Um, and it's just a clearing account. So sometimes you might want to just, the code doesn't really matter. Sometimes it's easy just to give it all the nines. It's a nice, easy one. I'm going to call this Contra Payments. It can be suspense, it can be anything you like. Um, now, two things I'm going to add here. I'm going to show it on my dashboard watch list because this account should always clear out to nil. So by putting it on my watch list, I can make sure that it always is nil. Um, and I'm also going to enable payments to this account. That's the little trick, and I'll show you how, how that's going to work shortly. So we're going to save that. Okay, so that account has now been added. Let's go back to my dashboard. Okay, and on my accounts watch list, uh, somewhere in here, I've got my Contra Payments account, which equals nil. All right, so let's do this. So what we need to do. Uh, we can do this either way. I'm going to start with the bill. So I find the bill that I want to pay. 
and there's various different ways you can find it. This is just the way I do it. Uh, okay, so what I do is down the bottom here, I make a payment. So this is how much the contra amount is going to be. And this is why I've started with a bill, because it's only 3,300 so the contra, and we're going to be left with 1,100 to pay. Uh, they'll have to pay me. Um, so amount paid, I'm going to put today's date in. I can just tab through that to get today's date. Now paid from. Because I ticked the enable payments to this account, my contra account appears on here. So I'm going to pay into here and I'm going to put contra payment or something like that, um, barter, whatever term you want to use. But I'm just going to clear that so that I do that. Okay, so add payment. Okay, so that is now paid. So if I come over here, uh, it's all paid, 3,300 paid. If I wanted to send them a remittance for it, I could do. Um, but that's up to you, depends on what your uh, agreement with them is. So I'll go back to the dashboard now. Always start everything from the dashboard, it's the, uh, the starting point of everything. Now if you look at my contra payments, it's got a balance of 3,300. So it's not finished, <laughs> um, but that means I've got 3,300 I can use. So pretend this like I've just handed them $3,300 and they're about to hand it back to me. So now I go back into my sales invoice down here, nice and easy and it's awaiting payment. Go into the sale, come down to the receive a payment. Now they're not paying me the 4,400, we're doing the contra amount of 3,300. I do today's date, the same date that I did the other contra payment. I can just type contra in here, or I can use the drop down like I did before, and I'm going to write contra payment. Oops, I can't type. Add payment. Okay, so if I come through and I'll go and um, I can view that through here, through here, I'll go this way. So now you can see I've got the $3,300 payment and it's still $1,000 due. So I can actually, if I wanted to, I can email them this to let them know that I've applied the contra payment and they've still got $1,000 to pay, $1,100 to pay. Um, it's, that's just as easy. And now if I come around here to the dashboard just to check how this is, we'll look at our contra account over on our account watch list and hopefully it equals nil. It does. That's perfect. So what's really handy here, uh, so that's two things. Well, let's go back to the contact here to show you. And then I'll show you how you do the final check. So ABC Consultants. And there we go. So we can see one of in invoice awaiting payment. They owe me 1,100. Uh, so invoice has been partially paid. So it's been partially paid by the 3,300 that we paid here. Hope all that makes sense. Okay, one final little check. So if I go to my account transactions report, oops, that, I always have this one start. So let me show you how to get to it. Reports. This is my favorite report, so I always have it start. Uh, the easiest way to find it is just in the search bar up here. Look for account transactions. And I'm going to search in here for the Contra account. Oh, I've got lots of um, things called Contra, but this one down here. Um, and it is only this month that I'm looking at. Okay, and so now you can see I started with a running balance of nil. Then I made uh, the two payments and they cancel each other out and I end up with a running balance of nil. Um, so by using this single account, this special one just for Contra payments, I can make sure that I'm using the same um, same contact and all that. If you've got a deal where you're doing a round robin type thing, you can use a different contact. Um, so, you know, maybe XYZ consultants said, hey, can you pay these guys? You can do that. That's not a problem. Um, but I'm just showing the demo when it is the one supplier that has done that for you. So if this helps you, um, making sure that you're recording the right amount of sales and what the value of your work you're actually doing is worth. 
um, I that would be uh, this works out really well so recording the true value of your sales your true value of your expenses the money doesn't have to change hands but um, as you can see here my profit and loss for November is now showing that I've got a one thousand uh, dollar profit because I did a sale of four thousand and I but I paid for three thousand dollars worth of um, consulting in this case um, to give me a thousand dollar profit when the GST is not included. All right, I hope that helps. I am Tori Vanderdog from Aegis Business Services. Um, we are an accounting and bookkeeping advisory firm located in near Brisbane, uh, but we look after clients Australia wide. Um, and our tagline knowledge, support, guidance, because we love to teach and help you and support you in business.